Good morning, everybody. It's another really cold morning. But today is a special day for one of us. Where's the man of the hour? Chevy. Chevy. Somebody is getting fixed today. Your last couple of hours. Enjoy while you can, Chevy. Remember, it wasn't too long ago that we got Diesel fixed. And I was so worried about him then, but it went so smoothly and they did such a good job and it made such a good change in diesel that I'm not really worried about Chevy today. Chevy, where'd you go? You pacing around, you're a little nervous? Chevy, come here. <laughs> Probably a little confused because he's not supposed to eat or drink before the surgery. And he's used to being fed first thing in the morning. Diesel. <laughs> Did you tell him it's going to be fine? Or do you tease him and tell him it's going to be terrible? It's all about you today, Chevy. So first thing, we're going to bring my truck, my semi-truck over to the shop. Got to get a few things fixed on it, like I've been talking about the last couple of days. We've got to get the oil fill line fixed and get one of my wheel bearings and wheel hubs looked at. And that should take, well, it should take most of the day. And if they need to order parts, it might take some of tomorrow, but hopefully they'll have everything they need. I know they already ordered the oil fill line, but they're not too sure what's going on with the wheel bearing yet. It's making a bit of a humming noise at me. So I, I just want them to look at it, make sure everything's okay. And then after we drop the truck off there with the guys at the shop, Your day begins, Chevy. You're actually gonna have a nice nap all day, you know? It'll put you under, you have some good dreams, you'll wake up, you'll feel a little funny. You'll just be an even better boy, hopefully. <laughs> when we got Diesel neutered, it really improved a lot of his characteristics. It made him a much calmer dog, less, well, he's still pretty anxious. <laughs> That's Diesel though, but it made him, uh, less invasive of other dogs' privacy, I guess we'll say that. It made him an all-around better dog, I think. So we're hoping that the same is gonna be true for Chevy. Shit. You ready, buddy? You ready? Hmm? You excited? It's your last few hours as a man. Your last few hours, man. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so yeah, maybe don't, maybe don't, like, go to town, maybe off camera, buddy, on your own time. You can say goodbye later. Just chilling before the surgery. Hanging out. All right, Chevy, the time has come. You ready? You're gonna have a nice nap. Let's do it. So we dropped Chevy off there at the vet and he'll be there all day. It turns out he needs an act uh, he actually needs another surgery too. He has a, what's it called? Umbilical hernia. Umbilical hernia, so two surgeries today in one shot. So while he's there getting, getting taken care of, we're back in Winnipeg uh, going to Dynacare Labs. Uh, the last time, a little while ago, you might remember I had to come give an awkward sample. Apparently, they need another one, so we're here for another awkward visit. We gotta come all the way into the city for this. And, uh... This guy gotta come into this lane? Is that what you want? You have your signal on? No? Okay, you just turned it off. Don't confuse me! Uh, this is a sample to make sure that, uh... Everything... In my reproductive system... Not that I have a reproductive system, that's Brit. How do I word this? Just to make sure that, yeah, you have a reproductive system. Yeah, to make sure that everything's working. Britt and I are trying to have a baby, and we've been trying since we got married. About a year and a half, I guess, we've been trying. and over. Uh, not much luck, and we just want to make sure that everything's working well.
Here we are at Dynacare on King Edward Street in Winnipeg. Oh yeah, we gotta go in the other side. Uh, we were we did here. This last time too. Yeah, the last time we parked. Their parking lot's on this side, but their entrance is on the other side. But they got it on fine print on their back door. So by the time you park and get to their back door, and you have to walk all the way around to the front. So hopefully there'll be some parking here for us. Not likely. Oh, is it? What does that say? What visitor? They might be reserved. And that's that. Now to head back home. Apparently my truck is already all finished and all fixed. That was quick. Yeah, really quick. Should have cleaned off my backup camera while I was out there. I never remember to do that on my vehicle either. I just use my mirrors. I'm one of those people that knows how. Well, I can use my mirrors. I just when you're in the city, nothing is made for a big vehicle. That's it's true. all made for a smart car. It's true. Even before smart cars were invented. Yeah. And then finally they came out with a smart car and everyone's like, oh that's why these parking lots are made so small. In the grand scheme of things, that's what they were aiming for. It's like they sell these big American vehicles everywhere, but you can't fit them anywhere. <laughs> but we buy them anyway. In southeast Manitoba, it's actually, things are made a, with a little more common sense. Yeah, these big vehicles aren't exactly made for city folk. Even though Steinbeck is technically a city. Yeah, but you don't feel like you're driving a big vehicle there. You feel like you're driving a normal vehicle there. Come to the city, everybody's a little bit more... In little Honda Civics. Little Honda Civics and stuff. And, not that there's anything wrong with Honda Civics. They're actually quite good vehicles. Oh, great. I just, I'm not a car fan. I'm a trucker SUV fan. But to each their own. I don't feel safe in those little cars, because... Like, I know my sister had her accident. She was in a little Toyota Corolla. But, uh, and thankfully she had no injuries. But had she been driving, uh, you know, Chevy Tahoe or GMC... Uh, no, Chevy Tahoe or Suburban? Or GMC Yukon? I mean, she probably wouldn't even have any bruises. But she did hit a big pickup truck. That's probably why it was worse than did it was. Did she? I wasn't yeah. sure what the whole story was there. Yeah. But. So while we're in town here, we just swung by the pet store. Because you know us. If we're not at Walmart, we're at the pet store. We're just going in here to see if we can find uh, one of Frankie's favorite toys. Hoot. Chevy destroyed him. Gotta get him a new one now. <laughs> Where would he be? Uh, he might be on one of these ends. I don't know. There's a big toy section. So. If you were who? There he is. You got him? What do you guys think? Should we get a fish? I used to have fish when I was a kid. We, we always had fish. But it's a pain to take care of them. It's a pain to clean their tanks out all the time. Unless you have one of those algae eaters, those little sucky guys, the plecos. And it's not so bad. Maybe we should get a bird. Birds are annoying. Oh yeah, and Brits, she doesn't like birds at all. She's scared of them. I'd like a talking parrot one day. We got Frankie some food. We got everybody a new toy. Chevy got an especially large toy just because he's going through surgery today. So he'll get to come home and uh, have a nice little new friend waiting for him. And we got uh, this travel kennel for Frankie when he comes on the truck uh, so that we can if we leave the truck to go inside and shower or anything we can leave him in this so that the big guys don't step all over him and so he doesn't jump up and down off the seats and the bed because we got to be careful for his back so that's what that's for how you feel great because we just spoiled the boys again getting a little too close there I'm sorry. I'm that annoying husband. Classic. That's space issues to a certain degree. Just right in my face. I don't like things right in my face. <laughs> I know, I do it to bug you. So we just gotta get a truck wash for the truck yet and we need to stop at Steinbeck. We gotta get a, that special food for Chevy because he's allergic to life. 
<laughs> yeah. He's allergic, He's allergic to, everything. to air and sun and water. So there's one place, uh, Pet Value carries his food. Uh, I forget the brand name right now, but we looked through everything in PetSmart here and they had aisles, like four aisles of dog food. And I would have recognized the bag if I saw it and they didn't have it. So we gotta stop in Steinbeck to pick that up yet. Well, Just stopped by the mom and dad's. And mom has buckets for us, yeah. for our yeah. leaky roof. <laughs> Mom's got everything, and yeah. I guess this is clients. <laughs> Mom runs her accounting business here, so. And we have Hi. Cheryl. Hi. Long time since you've been on the vlog. Yes. Oh, that seems so close. <laughs> oh, they can see it in the in the mirror here. Is this is what you guys look like. See you guys. <laughs> see you later, Mom. See you, see you Mom. So we just swung past here on the way home from the city. Now we got to go pick up the semi truck because it's ready to be picked up and we got to go see what the damage is there and then we go pick up Chevy. He's already awake and waiting for us. You excited to see your boy? Oh, so excited. Been watching the clock. Not that I don't enjoy visits with mom and Cheryl, but been watching the clock just wanting to go get my baby. I don't know if you can tell because of the stabilization in the camera, but it's a bumpy and shaky ride. The heater in the garage broke while well, the, the electric motor wore out that powers the fan for the furnace in the garage. So we have no heat in our garage right now and when I was clearing the snow off the roof I was sort of using the pickup to get up a little higher and uh, I drove through some of the snow that got stuck in the rim and then it turned hard and now we got that snow and ice stuck in our rim. It's shaky. It feels like we're driving on square tires right now. Yeah. We gotta go to the car wash yet and get that washed out or at least do that next time for sure. So we gotta go pick up Chevy as quickly as possible. But first we gotta go and uh, pay the shop for the good work they did. They were done really quick. We got the phone call at 11 in the morning. So it only took them a couple of hours. So obviously, oh, here's the turn right here. Obviously it wasn't that bad. always think that it's at the next intersection. Josh is very good for driving past things. It's like, it's a talent, actually. I just There's like a driving. a good parking spot. Oh, you know he's gonna whip past it. He's gonna go around six times. <laughs> I just like driving so much. <laughs> hey. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey, droopy eyes. Oh. Mwah. You did so good. What a good boy. We got yeah. you a present. Yeah, we got you got something. Got you a new gator. I forgot about that already. So everything went really well. Can you guys even see him? <laughs> there you go. He everything... looks so sad. Yeah. So it was successful. So we just got to keep an eye on him. And... Uh, He'll be staying at home, at no more wrestling with Diesel for a couple of days for about a week and no running around outside. So we got to keep him on a leash outside and Diesel's coming with me on the truck tomorrow anyways, so. And he got inked. He's got a new tattoo. Oh, you got a tattoo? It says G-O-L-148. Oh. Look at you. Look at you. I got a tattoo too. We're, we're, you're just like me now. He's a badass. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna get you a leather. A leather spike collar now. Oh my, I think Frank has one that you can borrow. We'll just attach it with like an elastic or something so it fits. <laughs> that sounds great, guys. He just wants to go home and sleep, you can tell. <laughs> He's so tired. He's ready to go home. Oh, poor guy. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Are you waiting patiently? We got another hoot for Frankie. You should see his face. Yeah, one second, buddy. We got a nice little new frog for the weasel. And the biggest of all goes to the guy who got, left something at the vet, we'll say that. Got snipped. Got snipped, the biggest one of all. You guys excited? How badly do you want them? Can you say please? No? Diesel can say please. 
Teasing. You're missing something down there. You see that? And that was that. The surgery went very well. I'm just ending this vlog off a few days later so I can tell you that Chevy has recovered completely. He's doing great. He's back to his old self. He was a little lethargic and a little out of it that day, a little drugged up. But uh, he was neutered. And he also had a hernia removed in his belly button. So he had two operations, two surgeries, and it uh, kind of kicked his butt a little bit. But he recovered and he's doing great. He's at home with Britt right now. I'm on the road in the future. So I hope you subscribe, tune in to my vlogs for the next couple of days. We'll be headed down south, back to Ontario, and then back to Alberta, and then back home. So nice big loop de dupe there around the east so i hope you tune in uh hit that subscribe button down below the little bell beside it that way you'll get a notification when my vlogs do go live to all you new subscribers welcome leave a comment down below and let me know where you're from don't give me your actual address i always have to remind people of that because there's always one person that gives like their exact address just remember there's like over eighty-seven thousand people that can see the comment section and well, unless if you're okay with that. Hey, if you're okay with that, I completely am not responsible for anything that might happen if you give strangers your personal address. But I would highly recommend you don't do that. Just say the town or state or country you're from. I always like doing that every now and then just to see where my audience is. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.